Okay, hi, my name is Katie, and I have the Oil Stories channel here on YouTube, as well as a blog by the same name on WordPress. I've decided to make a series of videos, I guess Katie's conundrums, about things that have broken my shelf when it comes to membership in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And the topics that I've, I'm covering are things that I haven't found any videos for on YouTube. So it's sort of like putting it out there until a better video can be made. So I was raised literalist, orthodox, conservative, Latter-day Saint. We attended church every Sunday. We attended all the sessions of conference. I mean, it was the centerpiece of my family's life. And I lived orthodox my first year of college, went through a troublesome patch <clears throat> when I ran into an LDS ecclesiastical abuser. But when I returned back to faithfulness in the church, I was also very orthodox, very true believing, literalist. Um, and so that's why this topic I'm about to talk about is so disturbing. I remember going to a general conference where Elder Holland spoke about the council in Nicaea. This is where a group of men got together and decided who God was, what God was, and uh, went along with deciding that the Trinity was the nature of God. And he decried how a council of men like that could decide anything when it came to God. And then I found out about our little history, about the history of the Doctrine and Covenants. How it was started out as the Book of Commandments. The reason it became the Doctrine and Covenants is because the commandments had something added to them. The commandments were what we'd call the covenants in our edition of the Doctrine and Covenants. The Doctrine was a little book called Lectures on Faith. Two sticks in your hand. So why is it that when I open my Doctrine and Covenants, there is no Lectures of Faith attached to the book? Well, well, well. We had a little council in 1921 where a group of men decided who God was and the nature of God. I can't remember all the people that were on the council, but Talmadge, I think, was the main person that spearheaded it. I studied the lectures on faith, uh, not knowing any of this. It was a couple years before, because I wanted to know the nature of God. And the problem with lectures on faith is that Joseph Smith described the Godhead in a way that the church does not teach. So. The church had to do something to solve this problem, so they decided to amputate the lectures on faith because Mormon God is a three-part God. There's three personages. God the Father, who is a personage, a body with uh, a personage with a body that's um, bone and spirit, no blood. The resurrected Christ is a personage with a body of bone and spirit. And the Holy Ghost is a personage that does not have a body. In lectures on faith, that's not the same God. So you tell me how we could be okay with our church having a council in Nicaea to change the nature of God, but the men who decided there was a trinity are so evil and bad and wicked. You tell me.